Hi, in this new set of video, you'll learn how to send your automated test results directly from Bitbucket pipelines to TestRail. In this example, I'm going to use Robot Framework to run the tests and the TestRail CLI to upload the results to TestRail all through Bitbucket. In the end, you'll see how easy it is to manage all your testing efforts, manual and automated, on a single platform. If you want to try it yourself, the sample I'm using here is available in our GitHub repository. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Let's start the integration by creating a repository in Bitbucket now. You want to click on Create Repository and provide a name, for example, Repo Test Robot. Then select the project you want to use. I have already created a robot framework project, so I'm going to use this one. I'm choosing No to include a README and include Git Ignore because I'm going to commit the same code from our GitHub repository to this repository in Bitbucket. The README and the JitIgnore files are already included in that code. Now click on Create Repository, and it's created. Bitbucket is going to give you a suggestion to commit a work sample to this repository. First, you have to clone this repository to your local machine. Then go to the path of this repository and connect to GitHub repository using the command git remote add origin. Finally, push the code. For the sake of time, I have already cloned it and the code is in my robot framework repository. Every time you create a new repository, always check if the pipelines option is enabled. Go to the repository settings and then click on settings. Here you will find the enable pipelines toggle. This option should always be green. When enabled, Bitbucket will automatically identify the Bitbucket pipelines.yaml file in your repository and it will enable the pipelines option for you. Back to the repository where I committed the code sample, you will see the option pipelines on the left-hand panel, and here you will find the run pipeline button. If you click on this button, Bitbucket will ask you to select the branch you want to run on the master branch. Then you will need to select the pipeline which is default. Here you can click on C configuration to check out what the pipeline looks like. Let's do that. You'll notice that this pipeline is using Python image for running this build, and there are two steps within the job. The first step is to install the Robot Framework Browser Library and run the tests. The second step is to install TestRail CLI and upload test results to TestRail. To run Robot Framework tests, you need Python and Node.js installed on your system. Using the Python 3.9 image available in Bitbucket. You don't need to install Python, but you still need to install Node.js. As the operating system is Linux, I'm installing curl and using the curl command to install Node.js. The next part of the script will install Robot Framework on your system using the pip install Robot Framework browser. Then you need to initialize the Robot Framework repository with the RF browser in it. And in the last part of this step, you will run the tests. As you probably know, Robot Framework uses Playwright internally. So, you need to install the Playwright dependencies and then give the command to run the tests. This command will run all the tests included in this test folder, and once the tests are done, it will create a JUnit report.xml for you. The report is stored as an artifact in this folder. Why are we storing it? Because the TestRail CLI will use this JUnit XML report to send your test results to the TestRail in the next step. So, the first step of the pipeline set up the environment and run the tests. The second step will install the TestRail CLI and upload the results. To do so, the first thing is to install the TestRail CLI using the command pip install trcli. After the CLI is installed, there are a few mandatory arguments that you need to pass along with trcli-y command. The -y option is going to create all the entities for you in TestRail. This means the test run, test cases, and results. The -h option provides the host with the URL for your TestRail instance. Then you want to specify the project you want to include the test run. Following you will see minus U and minus P, which is the username and the password, to authenticate your test rail instance. You also have to specify the title of your test run, in this case, Robot Framework Bitbucket Integration. My test results will appear in test rail under that test run. In the run description, you can give the Bitbucket Pipeline build number URL. This will give you a URL within test rail to check out the build in Bitbucket when necessary. Finally, you have to specify from where the test rail CLI has to pick up the report. In this case, it is under the reports folder. That's why the JUnit report was saved as an artifact in the previous step. 
you will provide the same path here. That's about the Bitbucket YAML file which is included in the sample. Let's go back to the pipeline section and click on Run Pipeline. Choose the Master Branch Default Pipeline and then click on Run. You'll see the pipeline console on the right side and on the left, you can see that the first step is already started. It will take the Python image and build the setup. You already know that it will install curl, Node.js, robot framework, and the playwright dependencies. Let's speed up the process a bit. Okay, now it's going to run the tests, which are simple tests to check the test rail website. There are three tests, one has passed and two have failed. You can see that it has created the output as well as the JUnit XML report. In this way, the first step is completed. Now the second step is to install the test rail CLI and then upload the test results. Taking all the parameters specified in the YAML file, it processed three test cases, created the test run, and submitted the results in five seconds. It means the robot framework test should be available in test rail now. Here you can find the run URL to check the results. Let's see this is my test rail instance and you immediately visualize the results. In the graph, two test cases failed and one passed. At the bottom, you will see three test cases. If you click a failed test case, for example, you can see the error message for why the test case failed. And if you need to further analyze the results, you just click on the Bitbucket build URL, which will take you to where the build was executed. In the build log, you can check the errors or find out why the execution failed. All those things you can find here. Another important thing in the pipeline section, when running the pipeline and clicking on C configuration, you can see all the configuration parameters provided in the YAML file. For example, the username, password, project, run title, and so on. In this sample, these parameters are hard-coded, but you can use the repository environment variables. You just need to go to repository settings and then repository variables. Here you can create the variables, for example the username, and then you can provide some value whatever you want. Then click add. In the same way, you can create the password, provide some value, and add the variable. Then you can replace these hard-coded parameters with variables set up in the repository. Every hard-coded parameter here can be replaced with environment variables. Now that you have centralized your test results and test rail, not only can you check the results of your automated test runs along with the error messages for failed tests, but you can also aggregate both your manual and automated testing efforts on reports that show you the full test coverage surrounding your app. You can also report a bug directly from the automated test result to an issue tracker of your preference, as you would for your manual test results. I hope this video helps you understand more about how to use TestRail professionally. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell. Never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Our QA experts will reply in time or even produce a new video explaining your topic. Please also check out our other videos. Happy testing. See you next time. Next.